Hi, this is David McCam for Elementor 360. Dynamic OOO, Dynamic Content for Elementor, just released version 2.5.0. It's a big important release. And I noticed that they added a new helper widget called Discover Tokens. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Discover Tokens widget so you can see how to use it. So I have a testing site here with the free cadence theme. I have a bunch of demo post data and a custom post type called books. I already have the free version of Elementor installed, and I also have Dynamic OOO installed. It's probably a good idea to turn off any of the widgets, extensions, and features that you're not using so that you don't bog down the Elementor editor. To help with that, new widgets and features that are added to Dynamic OOO will start out being disabled. So first thing we need to do is find the Discover Tokens widget and enable it. Here it is. Before we go and test the widget, there's one thing I wanted to show you. There's a settings page here. And this page lets you disable tokens altogether if it's something that you aren't going to use. And it also lets you disable different types of tokens. A token is basically a placeholder variable for dynamically generated data. There are already a large number of dynamic data variables in WordPress. And by default, Elementor only exposes those in the pro version. However, Dynamic OOO, Dynamic Content for Elementor, exposes the tokens even in the free version. Here's a list of some of the types of tokens that are available. So this would be like the Elementor form. This would be your system, like your server information. Date, author, user, post, we know what those are. Terms, these are related to the taxonomy archives. Options. When you choose a setting in the WordPress admin, they're saved in the options table. And so the option tokens expose many of these settings that are available in WordPress. We have the WP query. That's the query that runs on the page. The query, which is the generic query itself. There are advanced custom field tokens tokens for WooCommerce products and expressions like math expressions. There are also tokens for other types of custom fields such as fields created with Jet Engine. So you can turn tokens off altogether. You can disable any ones that you don't want to use. And the dynamic OOO token system also lets you access data from PHP functions. So you can create your own custom functions. And if you want to do that, you can create a whitelist of your functions that you want to allow, but that's up to you. All right, so I'm going to start and add a new page. We'll call this, and I'll publish it, and we'll go edit it with Elementor. All right, so I'm going to search for token, and here's the Discover Tokens widget. Here's the list of token types that we saw in the settings area. And here are the example tokens that the widget is showing us. So we're looking at post. There's the post title, the post ID, thumbnail ID. There isn't a featured image attached, so that's blank. The publication date, the permalink, type, the author. This is an example showing that by using the post ID here, you can even pull information from other posts. All right, so let's go look at some of the other tokens. There's ACF Advanced Custom Fields. So I know that there are advanced custom fields defined on this site, but there aren't any assigned to this page. So I'm just going to save this, and then let's go to the dashboard. Go to one of these book records, and we'll edit it. You see here is an ACF field, a link to the author's website, and an image field, the author's photo. Okay, I'm going to edit this with Elementor. 
and let's add that discover token widgets. Ah, and here are our ACF fields. Obviously, you're probably going to want to use these fields in your widgets when you're working with dynamic data. Unfortunately, this is not something that you can grab and copy here, but you can copy the tokens from the front end. Elementor doesn't make available all of the dynamic data when you're using the preview. So what we're going to need to do is view the page. And then if we go to the bottom, we see here is our list of tokens. And next to the individual tokens, there is a little button to copy to clipboard. So that's a convenience there. You're going to say, I don't want these things showing to my visitors. And yes, that makes a lot of sense. But there's a little note here that says that they only show to administrators and they're only here to help you understand the token syntax. So you're only going to use this discover tokens widget during development. When you're done, then you can remove it. Okay, but I just wanted to show you the front end, how you can copy the tokens into the clipboard. Okay, there is another way that we can get some of this ACF information without actually going to the page. Let's go to the book record. When you hover over a record, you can see the post ID. So if you look at the bottom, it says post equals 355. Okay, so that's the post ID. So let's see if we can use that now, the ID to retrieve one of the ACF records. Okay, and I'm going to get the dynamic 000 text editor with tokens widget. So let's just try this. The URL to the author's website is, and then I'm going to call the ACF field using the ID. Okay, so we need the name of the field, author's website. And then we add in the post ID and there it is. Okay. So that is another option. If you can use one of the post IDs to pull those values directly. All right. So now let's keep going. And here are some examples of fields related to the post author using the date token. So if you want to get today's date, or here's an example with the date and time or the date and time with seconds. Expressions. Okay, so you can do mathematical functions using the token syntax. And here it's just putting in numbers, but you would probably use this like in an element or form or someplace where you actually wanted to do a calculation. Like say you wanted to calculate a discount amount, you know, 10% off. And so you would probably actually use variable names here. This is for the jet engine fields, and I don't have that installed here. Here are options like the site URL. We looked at post. I don't have WooCommerce installed. Here are some query options. So here's some examples. You can do a query and say how many users are there. User count seven users. Then here's users and it shows the names. Number of posts, 95. Okay, number of attachments, 141 number of books. So you can use the query variable to retrieve some of the standard information from your site. And that would be very powerful. System. Okay, so here's information about your server. So here shows that it's running Apache and the version showing that HTTPS is on the host name. So there are times if you're doing some advanced work where you might want to have access to some of these server variables. Terms, this is for use on a term archive page. User, here are examples of the kind of information you can get about the user. And finally, there is WP Query. 
And this is kind of an advanced set of variables. You might use it for something if you were doing some archive, like here you would get the page number or something. Okay, so we've looked at the discover tokens widget. Now there's one more thing I'd like to show you. I'm just going to save this for right now and let's go back to the admin. I have installed here a snippets manager called WP Codebox. There are other programs like this, like in the WordPress directory, like Code Snippets, but I like this one because it has a lot of advanced features. And I created my own function here called Magic Word. Now I can never remember how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, so I created a PHP function that returns the magic word. So the function is name is called magic word. And so this token, you can see it's always available everywhere, not just the front end or admin, but available on all pages. Now let's go back to our page and let's add the dynamic OOO widget called text editor with tokens. See, it has some examples here. Well, let's see if we can call the magic word is, okay, now you can't just put the PHP function name in. That's not gonna work. But what you can do, since it's a global variable available everywhere, it's gonna be available on the post. So let's just go post ID magic word. The magic word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, so this opens up a lot of powerful options if you are able to do a little PHP programming or you're a power user. You can now use many of the PHP functions or WordPress functions and filters that are available. Dynamic OOO on their website, they now have a pretty extensive help library. If we go to the docs, we type in the word tokens, you'll see that there are quite a few articles, like how to debug tokens. Here's how to create a custom token that's similar to what we just did. And here's an overview article that has information about tokens. You see, these are the categories that we were just looking at. And here is an article with a number of examples. So the token system that Dynamic OOO exposes is very powerful, but it's a power tool and it can be a little bit difficult to figure out the correct syntax for the different tokens. So they've created the Discover Tokens widget to make it easier for us to use this powerful feature. So that's my quick look at the new widget that was included in Dynamic OOO. There's more information, articles, and tutorials available on the Elementor 360 website. I hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.